Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and we have got some incredible announcements this week including AWS have announced a brand new service. Oh, I think I'm still the host. What a week! Last week I was at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando and every day I summarized the most important announcements. If you missed it, Go back and watch all four episodes to get the Azure highlights from Microsoft annual event. On this episode of Azure This Week, I cover Azure DevOps get an updated roadmap with tons of features to come, Azure Stream Analytics get a bunch of small updates, and the new and shiny Synapse Analytics already gets its first upgrade. You are watching Azure This Week, a show made entirely out of reclaimed first generation virtual machines. Azure DevOps is Microsoft's suite of tools to help developers and project teams release better software faster and with fewer bugs. The platform is forever changing and improving. And for that reason, there is a roadmap of all the features that Microsoft is working on and which are coming in future updates. This roadmap is fully public and you can find it in the link below and it's just been updated. The most interesting additions include a modern, fast, mobile-friendly UI for Azure Pipelines, a new Sprint Burndown widget, which your project manager will love, pipeline caching going into general availability, preview of the new auditing feature in Pipelines, and copying of dashboards. There are many more updates, which you can also check out yourself. Azure's real-time analytics service is Stream Analytics, and this week it got some new updates. With the online scaling capability, you can increase or decrease the streaming units, or SUs, capacity of a running job without having to stop it. Kind of neat. It's also now possible to implement custom deserializers in C-sharp, which can be then used to deserialize events received by Azure Stream Analytics. Have a variety of data types and formats be fed into Stream Analytics besides the three natively supported ones. Stream Analytics now also offers full support for managed identity-based authentication with Power BI for dynamic ba dashboarding, dashboarding, dashboarding experiences. This gives Stream Analytics jobs direct access to a workspace within your Power BI account. And Azure Stream Analytics now supports high performance, real-time scoring by taking advantage of custom pre-trained machine learning models that are managed by Azure Machine Learning Service. Last week at Ignite, Azure Synapse Analytics was announced. Use the link below to go back and watch my coverage of that announcement if you haven't seen it already. Already though, there is a new update to the tool. Support for SQL Server Data Tools, or SSDT, is now available. This release includes support for SSDT with Visual Studio 2019, along with native platform integration with Azure DevOps, providing built-in continuous integration and deployment, or CI-CD, capabilities for enterprise-level deployments. This really makes Synapse Analytics a more viable part of a developer workflow. That was all I could make room for in this week's episode. As we say on the A-Cloud Guru team, when talented fellow instructors try to take over your show by using competence and expert cloud knowledge, seek and you show cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome cloud gurus.